yes, this is me making a video on how to wear a scarf in the middle of summer. This is a mood. Hi there, you might know me from my vintage Burberry scarf video. I'm here to show you a few different ways on how you can wear a vintage Burberry scarf or any Burberry scarf. So my scarf is, it's a 12 by 50 inch scarf. So 12 sideways and 50 inches lengthways. But it doesn't really matter whether you have a longer or shorter scarf. These techniques and ways of wearing it should be about the same. Let's get started. Okay, there are some basic ways of wearing a scarf that I'm sure we all know. So this, wearing it this way, just draped around your neck, which is a very typical way of wearing a scarf. You can make one side slightly longer and then drape around. To make it look a little more fashionable, you can open it up a bit on this side and sort of drape it across your shoulder like this. That way you can see more of the print. And then there's this way, which is folding it in half. And then uh, I would say that this method probably looks a bit better if you have a longer scarf, but this is quite cute too. Especially if you have a coat where you can tuck this in and it kind of creates a little. And what you wanna do is tie it into a knot right down the middle you can have the front bit longer than the bottom bit and it just covers it like this it's like a little napkin for when you know you're trying to protect your clothes from the food if you're dining and okay anyway the next way is you moving it to the side but keeping the knot and leveling it up so you can see two strands and then another way of doing it is to make the front shorter and kind of juice it up and juice the bottom up as well. So you get two layers of fringing. Another thing that you can do is you can double knot it. Kind of leave the two ends like this. You can also do one side shorter and then wrap this around, tuck it in the back, keep this short and then wrap it once, wrap it twice and then you put your hand through and take this in. That's kind of like a tie. Let's do one where you start with the scarf from the front. You can wear it just like this, a little bit at the neck and flowing behind you. It's very chic and, you know, if you're walking and the wind is blasting you, it probably won't fly away um, and you can get a Superman effect. What you can also do is you can switch it around at the back. Again, this is quite chic. You can knot it. And this way might work a bit better if it's a little bit longer but you can kind of see where I'm getting with this. And another way that you can wear it is put it back in this position and then loop one over and loop the other one over. You can loop one over and one under and then just kind of tuck it in. I think this will keep you very warm, especially if you have a coat like here. And another way to wear it is to let it all out. It's not very long and drape it over your shoulders and your chest. I think this shawl way of wearing it would probably work better if it's longer, but it still works, especially if you're a person of smaller stature. I find that wearing your scarf in different ways can totally change up an outfit. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a new way or two on how to wear your scarf. I'm also going to be making a video on how to wear an MS scarf soon, so keep an eye out for that. And if you haven't seen my vintage Burberry scarf video, I suggest you check it out. It is 
quite interesting if I do say so myself. I did buy this for $33 and um, I'm pretty sure it's authentic. But you can watch my analysis in that video. Someone asked a question in my last video um, about vintage Burberry scarves. And they asked if Burberry made it in lamb's wool. So as you might know, my one is in cashmere, 100% um, cashmere. But Burberry also makes 100% lamb's wool scarves. So no need to worry. Um, that doesn't mean that it's fake. I hope that helps. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, if you learned a new way or two on how to wear your scarf, um, whether it's Burberry or not, please do leave me a like and a subscribe and make sure to do the bell thing. And comment down below if there are ways of wearing this that I don't know of yet because I would love to test them out. For me, realistically, I probably would have to wait another six months before I can wear this um, when it's Australian winter. As some of you might know, winter in Australia, um, there's no snow except in the snowy mountains or the blue mountains or maybe like in Tasmania, but in my area, usually there's no snow. Um, if we're lucky, we get a lot of storms and rain, but yeah, pretty much no snow. You could also wear it as a blindfold, so you can hibernate for the rest of the year until things get better.